Hello students, this is Mrs. Yaud, and today I'm going to teach you Chapter 3, Lesson 2 for my Math 8 students. This has to do with angles of triangles. Please have out your spiral notebook and open up to a nice clean page. At the top of the page, please write 3.2, Angles of Triangles. Interior angles are the angles that are inside a polygon. So for example, in my picture of a triangle here, this angle and this angle and this angle are all interior angles. For exterior angles, when a side is extended, an exterior angle is formed. So for example, if I were to extend this side out right here, you can see that I created an exterior angle that was formed right here. Okay, so that would be an exterior angle. You can have other places, I mean any of these sides can be uh, extended. So if I extend this one here, then we have this exterior angle that has been, that has been uh, formed. Or let's say I extend this side up here, then I have this exterior angle that has been formed. So an exterior angle is formed when you extend one or more of the side lengths out past the polygon itself. There are two main concepts of uh, in this section, and they the first one has to do with interior angles of a triangle, and the second one has to do with exterior angles of a triangle. So let's first talk about the one that has to do with interior angles. So the first one that has to do with interior angles of a triangle, and that says that the sum of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees. Sum, remember, means the answer to an addition problem. So that means that if you add all of the angles in the interior angles of a triangle, it will always add to 180. So in this triangle that I have drawn, I could say that x plus y plus z will equal 180 degrees. In this example, I am told the three angles are x plus 28, x, and 90. So what I can do to solve this is I can say x plus 28 plus x plus 90 equals 180 degrees. So then I can go ahead and solve for x. Now remember when you are solving for a variable, you have to make sure to simplify both sides of the equation first. In this case, I need to simplify the left side. So x plus x is 2x, and then 28 plus 90 is 118, and that equals 180. Now we just need to subtract 118 from both sides, and that would be then 2x is equal to 62. Now divide by 2 on both sides, and I get that x is equal to 31. And so this would be my answer on this question. So that is about the interior angles of a triangle. Okay, now let's talk about exterior angles of a triangle. The exterior angles of a triangle theorem says that the exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum, remember sum means add, of the two non-adjacent angles. So non-adjacent means that the angles that are not next to that exterior angle. So in this triangle that I have drawn, the angle C is my exterior angle. It's on the outside of this triangle. The exterior angle of the triangle is equal to the sum of the two non-adjacent interior angles. So those would be A and B. So I'm going to write it as A plus B is equal to C. I just realized I should have said the two non-adjacent angles. I should add the word interior angles here. So it would be the non-adjacent interior angles. Okay, so let's do an example. Okay, so in our example, we are given that we need to find x, and we're told that this angle here is 36 and this angle here is 72. So that means that the two interior 
non-adjacent interior angles, which are 36 and 72, will add to that exterior angle, which is x. So that means that x is equal to 108. OK, let's do some more practice examples. Please turn to page 58 of your RPJ. For these problems, we want to find the measures of the interior angles. So remember, the interior angles of a triangle have uh, the property that they add up to 180 degrees. So that means that we need to add these three angles together to equal them to 180, and then we solve for x. So I'm going to say x plus 32 plus 90. A lot of students forget that this is 90 degrees. So you need to make sure to add that in to your problem. That will equal 180. OK, so now we just need to solve for the variable. My first step is to simplify. So I need to combine like terms on the left. So I have x plus 122 equals 180. Now we just need to subtract 122 from both sides. And we get our answer is x is equal to 58. And so that is my answer for number one. Let's take a look at number three. So number three, what we need to do is add everything together to equal it to 180. So this time we have x plus x plus 50 equals 180. Once again, I need to solve this problem. And the first step is to simplify the left, which means we need to combine like terms. So this is x plus x, which is 2x plus 50 equals 180. Now we need to continue solving. I'm going to subtract 50 from both sides. And that will give me 2x is equal to 130. Now I'm going to divide by 2. And 130 divided by 2 is 65. So my answer is x is equal to 65. Numbers 2 and 4 are very similar to the ones that we just did. I want you to use these examples to see if you can solve on your own numbers 2 and 4. So pause the video and try those two on your own, and then turn the video back on when you are done. For number 2, I got x is equal to 26. For number 4, I got x is equal to 32.5. If you did not get them correct, please pause the video and see if you can find your mistakes. So there's one thing that I realized I didn't quite finish here. It says find the measures of the interior angles. So that means my answer is actually not what x is. My answer is to find out what all of the interior angles are. So in number one, the interior angles are, we have 58 here. So that would mean 58 degrees, 90 degrees, and 32 degrees. OK, so for number three, this is 65, and this is 65. So we have 65 degrees, 65 degrees, and 50 degrees. OK? And then on number 2, we got x is 26. So we have this is 26 here. So my answers are 26 degrees, 70 degrees, and 84 degrees. And lastly, on number 4, these are each 32.5 degrees. So my answers are 32.5, 32.5, and 115. I believe on Big Ideas Math, when you do these problems, you will have to put the angles in order from smallest to largest, but I'm not 100% sure on that. So make sure you read the directions well when you do the concept practice for these questions. OK, moving on, find the measure of the exterior angle. So the exterior angle is here. And remember, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the two interior angles. So for number 5, we're just going to say that this is, remember, 90. So 90 plus 40 will give us x. So then 90 plus 40 is 130. So the exterior angle is 130 degrees. 
Okay, so number six is very similar to number five, so why don't you try number six on your own. Pause the video and then see if you get it correct. The answer that I got for number six is 135 degrees. If you did not get it correct, see if you can find your mistake. Take a look at number seven. The find the value of x of the clothes hanger. So this angle up here is 110, and these are each x. So remember, the angles in a triangle, the interior angles in a triangle, always add to 180. So we're going to add all those angles together. x plus x plus 110 equals 180. Why don't you finish number 7 on your own and see if you can find the answer. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you're done. Okay, I got as an answer that x equals 35. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.